When most people think of hepatitis C, Pamela Anderson springs to mind, but there are a lot of other people in the public eye who have the disease. Keith Richards, the Red Hot Chili Peppers Anthony Kiedis, Marianne Faithful, the singer Natalie Cole, and of course Anita Roddick. It's not just a celebrity problem. Statistics show that over half a million people in the UK have either hepatitis B or C and don't know that they have it, and the disease can be fatal. There are lots of ways of putting yourself at risk of hepatitis C. Sharing a razor or a toothbrush, snorting cocaine or other drugs, sharing a pipe or a straw or a note, because the nasal membranes can bleed, so that's a route of infection. Tattoos, and obviously intravenous drug users, uh, sharing needles, or having a blood transfusion or blood products before 1991, which is how Anita Roddick got her infection and how, how I became infected. There's been a trial run on the Isle of Wight where people can get tested in pharmacies, and I think they found one in six people they diagnosed with either Hep B or Hep C, which is fantastic because early detection is important, and if we roll that out nationally, I think that will have great results for people. We started off by testing for hepatitis B and hepatitis C using a dry blood spot sample. The process is very, very simple. It just involves collecting five um, spots of blood that get sent to a lab at Manchester Royal Infirmary. This type of service would, would work anywhere because of the uh, relationships that community pharmacists have uh, nationwide. It's not anything that's particular to the Isle of Wight. Pharmacies are open uh, seven days a week and easily accessible. I think it's a very good way to get people tested and diagnosed and treated promptly. Because I'd come from a background working in the prisons, I just thought that I'd get tested for hepatitis C. So I had that done in 2006 and was quite shocked actually when it came back positive. My initial feelings were I'm going to die and I was thinking, oh God, it's just before Christmas, I've got two young children, who shall I tell? Once I'd got my head round it, uh, I knew that there was going to be an effective treatment. My mental attitude about it was, right, this isn't going to ruin my life. I'm going to fight it with every ounce of my being, really. Treatments have advanced quite considerably over the last few years, and uh, really the, the message is the earlier this can be detected, the better your chances of, uh, of beating the virus. I know it sounds a bit corny, but it was a life-changing experience. It's quite strenuous, but I'm cured.